Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to submit, review and approve your team's timesheets. Before your team can submit their timesheet for official approval, you first need to enable approval in workspace settings. Then every user will get a submit action on Time Tracker and timesheet for each week. Users can submit timesheets either via web or via the mobile app. Once they submit a week, it will get pending status and their team manager will receive an email notification. While pending, users can still make edits as long as the week isn't locked. Now let's cover how to approve timesheets. You can see all pending timesheets on the approval page, along with total time and who's the approval manager. You can group requests either by user or week and filter by some team or user. You can approve all requests or if you're admin, click remind to approve and everyone's team manager will get an email reminding them to review their team's pending timesheets. Admins can approve anyone's timesheet and team managers can approve only their team members' timesheet. To see someone's timesheet in detail, click on the request. Here you can see a detailed breakdown and either approve the timesheet or reject it if it needs to be changed. When you click reject, you'll get an input box where you can enter a comment. Once you reject the request, your teammate will get an email along with the comment. They can then make changes and submit the week again. Once their timesheet is approved, it will be moved to the archive tab and people will get the approved status next to their approved weeks as well as an email notification. If there was a mistake and you need to amend an approved timesheet, you have two options. Either add new time entries and make them go through the approval process or withdraw the approval and edit time. Go to archive, open the approved timesheet and click withdraw approval when withdrawing. You'll first need to leave a comment and then all time entries for that approval will be considered unapproved and editable. After the approval has been withdrawn, you can go to the timesheet and you'll see that you can edit time again. For audit purposes, all withdrawal requests are permanently logged in the archive tab and they have withdrawn status. You can filter archive to see just the withdrawn timesheets. When you open some withdrawn requests, you'll see who withdrew the approval, when and why. You'll also see a copy of the approved timesheet in its original state so everyone can compare the original timesheet with the current one and see what changes were made. Here are a couple of useful features that can come in handy while approving timesheets. Go to Workspace Settings, then click on the Permissions tab here and lock timesheets so users can't edit or add entries to past dates. You can lock timesheets past a certain date, meaning anything before this date users can't edit or you can turn on automatic lock so timesheets get locked each day, week or month automatically. For example, if you set a lock older than one day, the systems will lock entries each day at midnight according to the workspace owner's time zone. When enabling automatic lock, instead of locking each first of the month, choose for example the fifth or instead of Monday, choose Wednesday, so people who forgot to fill their timesheets can do it without having to bother the admin. You can also set automatic reminders on the team page. Select who needs reminders, what is the number of hours they need to log, and create the reminder. Then the system will send them an email if they don't log enough hours in some period. Once everyone logged and submitted their hours, run a time audit to see if some entry is missing a project or a task. You'll do that by going to Reports, Detailed, and here you'll see Time Audit. You can also see if something is too long or short, like for example if someone has had an entry that's over 8 hours long, which you need to trim. You can also filter entries to see if someone was accidentally marked as non-billable or if you wish to mark something as non-billable so you don't bill it to clients. 
To prevent people from logging time with missing information, you can make a field required, like a task for example. You'll do that by going to settings and find do not allow saving time without and you can do that here. Now Clockify won't let you log time until you select a task. As an admin you can edit and fix entries one by one or in bulk. You can select some entries all on the page and all across the pages. Then you click bulk edit, select what you wish to update and put in the new value and save. If you need to see who forgot to log any time, go to the weekly report, then go to group by and select user. Down here you'll see show users without time. Go ahead and click it and that's it. Admins and sometimes managers can add time for people who forgot to log time in the detailed report here. Another way is to go to the timesheet page, select a teammate and enter time for them directly. To see who logged time but forgot to submit their timesheet, go to Approvals and then Unsubmitted tab. You can navigate between weeks and remind everyone to submit their timesheet with one click here. In the detailed report, you'll see a green check mark next to approved time entries. Time that has been approved can no longer be edited, not even by admins. You can also filter any report by approved status and export the data and send it to clients or for payroll. To learn more about Clockify's other features like time off and reports, be sure to check out our other tutorials. <laughs>